Welcome back. I'd like to show you how you can change the header uh, in the new WordPress 2013 theme. And it's actually really straightforward. And what I mean by that is this, this right up here, this is the header. And this is something that's new. We didn't see this in the uh, 2012 theme. We didn't have this header to play with, or at least we didn't go in and play with that. But in 2013, we get this header. And I mean, it looks pretty cool, right? It's there's these like varying shades of orange, circles, etc. Um, and that's cool. Um, except then what if I want, I don't want that. What if I want to change that? Well, this is how we go about doing this. If I'm back in the dashboard here in the appearance section, if I just scroll on down to where it says header, this is an example of one of those things that you can customize in, in a theme. And right here, we'll see, here's a preview of what the header image is going to look like. And that's, there you go, it's very similar to what we have here. Um, and we have the ability to upload our own image, or we can just use one of the other default images. Um, in fact, you could even select a random image if you want to. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's actually choose one of these other default images. This looks like the one we're currently using. That first one right there. What would happen if we switched over to this one? This looks like it's a bit more geometric. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And we'll go ahead and reload. And we'll see in a moment what it looks like. Oh, OK. So all right, slightly different. That's fine. Let's try the other one out. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. I'm going to click Save Changes. And we're going to reload that. And there we go. Okay, that's actually kind of cool too. I don't mind that. That's that's kind of nice. Um, what if we wanted to do our own? What if we wanted to actually upload our own? What I have here, I'm going to show you on my desktop. I have a couple images I found. Here's just some abstract images. There's what if I wanted to go with more of a green look? Or I also have this kind of orangey type uh, background that I found. Let's try these out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upload a file. But notice, before we go and upload this, I want to point out what WordPress is telling us. WordPress is telling us that um, you really need to have images of at least, they need to be at least 1600 pixels wide. Why is that? This is to take advantage of, like, to make the, the images as as big as possible so that they will um, it'll be big enough to handle any any computer resolution okay um, so the bottom line is the image has to be at least 1600 pixels wide uh, 230 pixels tall let's go take a look at the images and make sure that, that they're the right size I'm going to take a look at this I'll do a command I to see and yes this is certainly big enough it's uh, over 3,300 pixels wide, so that's certainly big enough. Let's take a look at this one right here. Yeah, that one will be big enough as well, too. My concern is I just want it to be big enough, okay? I'm not concerned about it if it's too big, because I should have the ability to crop it and, and play with it once I upload it. So let's go ahead and upload that. Let's try, let's start with uh, right here. Let's go to there, let's upload that green one. I'm gonna click the Upload button, and let's see what happens here. We're just waiting for it to upload. Doo, doo, doo. Now notice that we also have the option to choose an image for our media gallery. If we had had an image in our media gallery, we could have used it. OK, this image is really, really big, as you can see. So it's taking up more space here. Um, it's asking us, OK, do you, what part of this do you want to crop and publish? Because we can, we could, let's say, if we wanted to use more this part down here if we wanted to. Notice we can even make this, I wonder if we can resize this. I believe we can resize this if we want. Let's see, can we make it any bigger? Uh, we can't make it bigger, but we can make it, there we go, we can make it smaller. It keeps the right aspect ratio for us. Um, how about that? That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click Crop and Publish. And there we go, okay. Let's see what that looks like. I'm not so sure that this is what I want. So we'll switch that back. Okay, it's a bit of a darker background, but you see what I mean? I mean, I could I'd love to be able to tweak the colors of the text and but that's that's a topic for another screencast. Um, but okay, so that's one way. That doesn't look too too bad. Let's see if we can do better. I'd like to go ahead and um, update or and upload that other that orange file to see if that's going to be any better. So let's upload that. And we're just waiting for it to upload. And, oh, okay, cool. All right, that's kind of neat. How about 
Let's see, again, it's stretching off the side simply because it's a very, very large image. Let's see what we have. Hmm, maybe I'll go a little bit further up here, choose something like that. Yeah, why not? Let's try that. That looks kind of cool. Let's try this out. I'm going to go ahead and click Crop and Publish. By the way, we could have resized this image in exactly the size that we wanted using a tool like Photoshop. That would have been absolutely fine. Um, that's looking pretty good. I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and click Save Changes. And let's reload this. Oh yeah, I really like this. I'm going to stick with this, okay? Um, I encourage you to experiment. Um, you might want to create your own image or find your own image. This doesn't have to be abstract. It could be, you know, um, a, a picture of something else. But bear in mind that the the title will be overlaid on top of that. So you want to, you know, uh, dis pick something that's not going to be too distracting. Um, what if, last but not least, what if you just don't want a header image whatsoever? Okay, what if you didn't want a header image? What would you do? Well, you could just remove the header image by clicking this button right here. Remove it all together. Let's take a look at what the site looks like without a header image. Plain, white, very, very minimalist. Okay, maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. What if, let's, let's bring this header image back and let's click Save Changes. All right, we're back. We're back to the header image, that our custom header image that we uploaded. What if... What if you don't want any header text? Okay, what if you don't want the title there? Or what if you want to change the color of the title? We could take this off, take the header text off completely. Okay, and why might we want to take the header text off? Well, let's say you had a logo, a custom logo for your, your band or something or your, your company. You could embed that in the image that you uploaded and have the logo itself be part of the background image. So in that case, you wouldn't need the text, right? But let's say we do want this text. We can also change the color of the text. So when we were playing with that that green one over here, perhaps we could have had the green one and then we could have selected a maybe a, a white color to go with that. So let's see if that works, see if that's any good. See, that might be a little bit better like that. So you can experiment with different different ways to organize your, your header. I'm going to let you play around with that. I'm going to go back to this and what we had here, which was just, I believe it was just black like that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. So I'm going to stick with this, but I'm going to encourage you to experiment with the header combination that you want. And that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.